Yard or garden maintenance can be a little overwhelming during the fall season. And the one tool that helps to handle this task without hurting our back is a leaf blower. But while purchasing a leaf blower, one of the common dilemmas faced is whether to choose an electric or gas model. Both gas and electric leaf blower are powerful machines and choosing the best one among them depends mainly on the user requirements. If you are wondering how to analyze the right option among these two options, then the video is quite helpful. Electric Leaf Blower Electric leaf blowers offer a great alternative for gas blowers. Because they emit no pollutants, they are environmentally friendly. An electric blower is quiet, which makes it ideal for commercial spaces that must adhere to city regulations. Battery life is the main problem with an electric blower. An electric blower's battery life is typically between 30-40 minutes before it needs to be recharged or replaced. This is an issue for large properties and cleaning during heavy leaf fall season. While they are less expensive than a gas blower but require more batteries to clean large properties, this can quickly add up. The maintenance time is cut short by the time it takes to recharge or change batteries. An electric leaf blower may be the best, and perhaps the only, option in certain cases. Gas Leaf Blower Gas blowers are the best way to clear a parking area of excessive leaf litter. These provide the best power and can last for the entire day. This is crucial when dealing with commercial-sized properties. Gas blowers are quick and efficient. However, gas leaf blowers have their limitations. Gas leaf blowers are heavier than the electric models. Additionally, they require fuel maintenance. Gas blowers can also make a lot of noise which could be a problem for neighbors' homes. In many cases, a gas blower may limit your ability to clean at certain hours. Companies may also face city regulations that prohibit the use of gas power blowers. Many cities in the Bay Area have banned gas blowers because of noise and environmental concerns. Differences Here, we have provided a brief analysis of both power tools based on their particular features. Read the information thoroughly to make an informed decision. 1. Power The power source is the first thing that distinguishes an electric leaf blower from a gas leaf blower. This is an important factor in understanding how the blower works to meet your needs. It also has an impact on key aspects of the leaf blower, such as noise level, power output, and maneuverability. Gas blowers are the power winners, and that's a good thing. Because they are more powerful than electric leaf blowers, this is why. The power of cordless leaf blowers is limited. Cordless leaf blowers are more powerful than corded counterparts. Their power is not limited by the outlet's power rating. Do Level blowing field? Before we go into the differences, it is important to remember that electric and gas leaf blowers perform almost identically. This holds true for standard handheld models that are suitable for most homeowners. Gas is the only choice for those who need the power and control of a backpack blower. Today's leaf blowers offer a vacuum and mulch functions in addition to blowing. This is available on both electric and gas models but only on handheld versions. 3. Easy Movement It's not necessary to spoil the ending but gas blowers are known for their maneuverability. This can be a huge advantage depending on how big your yard is and how many trees are needed. An extension cord is required to keep electric blowers in range. This limits your reach to 100 feet from the nearest electrical outlet. Although there are cordless leaf blowers available, they don't have the power to clean driveways or hard surfaces. 4. Weight In this instance, electric leaf blowers are the best. The corded models are up to 4.8 pounds. This model is lighter than the cordless. Gas leaf blowers weigh twice as much as electric leaf blowers. However, backpack leaf blowers are still considered lighter models. Noting that heavy gas blowers can weigh around 14 pounds, it is important to keep in mind. Like other products on the market, some backpack models that use gas are heavier than others. These models offer a significant benefit to users as they put weight on the user's back. This improves maneuverability. Although electric leaf blowers may be lighter than traditional leaf blowers, they can still be used with limited mobility. You will need to weigh your yard and the amount of leaves you need to clean. These two factors will determine how long it takes to use the leaf blower. 5. Regular Maintenance Gas blowers are capable of performing the most basic maintenance tasks, such as filling up and buying new gas. You will also need to mix oil with the gas for two cycle engines. The spark plug must also be changed on four cycle engines. There may be some seasonal maintenance requirements. These are not required for electric blowers. 6. Noise Leaf blowers, especially gas blowers, are generally noisy. Numerous regions have established regulations that prohibit the use of noisy models. 
They are also restricted in some countries. A homeowner cannot use leaf blowers only during the day. Electric leaf blowers are quieter than gas models. They are not subject to any restrictions. There are some exceptions. There are some gas models that emit noises up to 67 decibels. Important to remember that these blowers have sound ratings at 60 feet away from leaf blowers. Users will experience a higher level of noise, especially if the blower has a backup motor. Hearing loss can result from leaf blowers with over 80 decibels. A hearing protector is recommended for homeowners. 7. Environmental Impact Some people prefer the power and convenience of a gas power blower to the environmental benefits of an electric one. A gas blower can be expensive to refuel and requires maintenance. Date Price No contest The price of an electric model starts at $30, while a gas model costs around $80. If you don't have one, an extension cord will be required to power your electric. You should also make sure that the cord is rated for the leaf blower's amperage trough. A lot of cords that are too short often provide insufficient juice at 100 feet. It can also make it difficult to power electric motors. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.